welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. I hope everybody's having a good um, new 2024. Hope everything's going good for you. Um, today we're going to be doing an um, unboxing of the Witch Casket. And I'm not going to be facing the camera the whole time. I'm going to be using my new layout since I have a new um, tripod and everything. And I'm hoping that the camera lighting is good. Um, other than that, welcome. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the bell icon because then you'll be notified of when I get new, um, when I do new videos. And I'll be doing a couple this week because I have a surprise for you, which will probably be here tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, um, hit the thumbs up, hit the, hit the subscribe button, um, and thank you for being here, and if you're new, if you're a returning, um, um, subscriber, thank you. Um, I do have, pla I do have plenty of plans for videos almost every week starting in February, so I'm hoping to actually stick to that, but for now... It's just going to be when I get when I get content to do. When I started this channel, it was many many years ago, and it was just going to be on unboxing and a couple of my hobbies. But I figured I want to do other things too, so I'm hoping to be able to do those. So um, let's get started. Um, Witch Casket is a monthly subscription box for people that are in that um, practice witchcraft or practice some form of witchcraft and magic. So um, it is the UK based box. I pay um, 48 between 46 and 48, depending on the um, exchange rate at the time. Dollars, forty-six to forty-eight dollars. So I think it's about thirty-six pounds for um, to the U.S. But they do ship worldwide. They do have U.K. rates, they have international rates, and they have European rates. So depending on where you are, um, they're a great, great company. Very nice, very helpful, very quick at responding to emails. Um, and if they, they, you find out that they screwed up on something on the boxes, they will reply and they will help you fix it, which is cool. Um, and that doesn't happen too often. It's very rare when a box gets screwed up or a, if you order from the Emporium, it gets screwed up. Um, the box... And the shipping content, the shipping peanuts are biodegradable. They're compostable because the um, the peanuts are made from um, baking soda, so they'll dissolve in water. Um, the box is recyclable, um, reusable actually. I I keep all the boxes because I use them for storage, and they've lasted over a year. Um, they will start breaking down because they are, I believe the boxes themselves are also compostable. I'm not sure about that. But the cool thing is, is for every box sold, they plant a tree. And you can always check them out on the website, which I'll put a link down below. A web, on the website of how many trees they planted so far. Um... Let's see, what else? This month's um, theme is Magic Rituals. And next month in February is Love Magic, which is cool. Um, and the other cool thing is it comes in a black sealed black, uh, biodeg biodegradable bag. It even says 100% biodegradable. And it says, sent with love from the UK, which is always cool. Um, and the cool thing is, is on the box there, except for that, and the customs card, 
and my address and the word fragile there is nothing on the box that says which gasket matter of fact it actually says um, the matrix on it so um, the name is the matrix so if you're still in the broom closet or if you have nosy roommates nosy parents conservative parents and you don't want to be with in their conservative lifestyle um, or beliefs or if you have nosy neighbors they have no clue what it is they'll just go they'll look at it and go oh okay cool so it's not outing you making you come out of the broom closet unless you want to that's your choice um, so it's always good for those, those people to me, it's never been a factor, no matter who, where I've been, where I've lived, what neighborhood I'm me, people expect me to be different because I'm, I don't follow most of the norms. If you go outside and look at my house. You can tell there's gothic stuff out there. There is the triple moon goddess symbol out there. There is a witch's room next to the front door. Um, I have witch's bells on my door. I have Celtic stuff all over the place. So, um, and I've always gotten compliments in my neighborhood that my house, my front yard's always the nicest looking because I keep it clean, I keep it organized, and I keep it set. And I'm ranting, ran, ranting on a tangent again, which I'm sorry about. I do that a lot. My gaming group does that a lot. So, um, which brings me to another thing. I'll also be doing a video on Dungeon Crate, which should come next week. But there is no more... Um, BAM boxes. I'm not doing the BAM box, BAM autograph boxes. I wasn't really too impressed with the last few boxes, especially the props of the BAM boxes. And if you want to watch those, you can check those out. Those are on my on my um, video arc video list. Um, and if you want to see what other what the BAM boxes were like back in the day when they first started go back i have those videos they're at the beginning of my my um almost what 200 videos now or so but as i get i'm going on tangents um which i'm sorry um so let's get started with unboxing and showing you what january's witch casket is like Okay, so that's January's box, so let's get opening. I hope this view works. So January's witch casket. And this is what you see. And after I show you that, there is witchcasket.com or .co uk and then the instagram facebook and twitter or now it's called x but nobody's calling it x everybody's calling it twitter still i'm sorry so this month's witch gasket magic rituals january 2024 and i forgot to mention i've gotten this box for a year now this is my one year anniversary so that's cool it says greetings out greetings out magical family of witches your first casket of 2024 celebrates magical magic rituals and we hope this casket and its contents will help you as you work your powerful magic and then all that and then it says sending all our love and positive energy to you all until the next time be well deb and ella and Deb and Ella are the mom and daughter that started the group, that started Witch Casket. And they're very nice. 
I have not met them because I haven't been to um, the UK. But I have talked with the people on the internet or on online. And I do get responses back on my social media. So, And then on the back of the box, you, get, you have people... Uh, Customers or subscribers sending in their photos of their of their items that they've used and stuff And uh, how you can do it feature feature in our highlights you can send them a photo give them permission So we'll put that on the side First and then the first item of the year is the art card and I'm not sure what I know it's a Magical. Let's see. There it is. Powerful ritual art print. So there's that. And then on the back of it is a witch casket exclusive that they started doing, I think, probably in. April or May of 2023, they started putting ma monthly manifestations on the back. So, and it says, what are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach these goals? What magical steps can I take to reach these goals? These seeds are planted, intentions are set. I command my desires to be met. So that's cool. And sorry that the light is blocking. There we go. Uh oh, something happened to my tripod. Why is it not balanced? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, next item is spell candles. Which casket exclusive? Oh, another thing. Most everything in this in these boxes are exclusive just to Witch Casket. And if you want to go back and want to purchase items from previous boxes, subscribe to the box. Subscribe to a month a box one month, and they'll send you a code, and you'll be able to go to their store, their online store, which is called the Witch Casket Emporium, and be able to buy items. So we got three candles. We got a black, green, and purple. Am I wrong? I feel like the police have other better things to do. So And then it tells you what what black is used for, what green is used for, and what purple is used for. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm still having problems with blurriness, but Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, I can't get it to um, not be blurry. I'll have to work on that later. So we got candles. Um, next is the Book of Rituals. And this is really cool. You, you write your own, you write your rituals in it. Ritual name, intentions, purposes, goals, magic items and tools used, deities and elements in, invoked, actions, incantations, notes, outcome, date, day of the week, moon phase. And then it has a little bookmark type thing in it. And this is cool. I like these type of books. So, and on, an, on another tangent, I will be um, doing a video on my Book of Shadows probably within the next two weeks. So, moving on. We have the Altar Blessing Ritual Kit. Okay. Fix the lighting a little. I'm still trying to work on how to do, do this new view. So, okay, so we have the altar blessing ritual kit, which is cool, because 
once I set up my altar again, I'm going to have to bless it. So let's see what all the contents we have for in here. We have a white candle, um, crystal chips, and components. And you will need mint. Okay, so mint is number one. Ooh, that smells good. Um, oh, dill weed. Dill weed and the white candle and the quartz crystal chips. So that's the items you need to bless your um, altar, which is cool. And then there's the spell. So that is cool. And I'll probably do that when I get my um, Beltane one set up. Um, next is the monthly pin, which is really cool. I love these cauldrons. I, uh, yeah, I, I love these. I love their lapel pins. I have a couple um, actually pinned on my um, on my um, crane bag. So there's that. It's supposed to be a cauldron. So it's a bubbling cauldron, which is cool. Okay, so let's do this one. The complete, the ornate wooden slice ritual. So or, the ornate wooden slice ritual tile. Sorry, I forgot to say tile. So that's cool. Another new tile to use. You know, it would have been cool if they had a little hole. So then if you didn't want to use this as a tile, you could have hung it up like on your wall or something. But I'll use it as a tile. I have my... Um, I have three different altars. I have my main altar, which I have not set up yet. I have uh, my travel one and my portable one. And the portable one goes with me like if I go camping or if I'm going to be gone for long, long periods of time from the house. And my travel one goes with me if I go to like hotels, to like conventions and stuff. So, so that's cool. I like that. This month's um, stone or crystal is is the fluorinite fluorinite crystal fluorinite stone. That's cool. I actually have no fluorinite. I actually have to admit that I really didn't have too many stones and crystals until I started subscribing to this box. Because I didn't use them too often. Um, but now that I have, I have been using them. Okay, next we have um, the spell casting candle holder. And this is pretty heavy. Oh, it's like a little cast iron cauldron bottom for a candle. So you, I guess you put you put your candle there, and then you can put like your herbs, your crystals, and st stuff in there. So that's kind of cool. And then it's got the little pentacle on the bottom. That's really cool. I have to exp I have to also I should actually have said this at the beginning of the video. I am not. I pay for each of these boxes. So all each box of the each box that I do a video on comes out of my own pocket. So I do actually do a a fair review on these. I'm not paid by by anybody to do reviews on these. These are all mine. So when I say I actually like all the stuff that comes in these boxes, I really do. 
And then this is the decorative ritual bowl. Which casket? And then the inside, which is cool. And it's like a tin. It's not really. I guess it's a harder tin. But that's cool. And I can use these for like when I'm not when I'm not doing my when I'm doing like um, Sabbath and Espot rituals. I can use that at, on the altar. That's cool. I was trying to think of what I would use that for, and that's perfect because I have ritual bowls for my other altars already. So um, next is a magic wand. Okay, I like the box. Let's talk about the box first. The box is actually really nice. And yes, it's carved to where it's only going to hold this one. But that is actually cool and you can display it. Oh yeah, look at that. Display it. Because you know what? This one actually reminds me of like the traditional witches' wands. Or wizard wands, something like Merlin would have carried. And I talked it over with my um, Druid Grove. I am going to actually use this as my Arch Druid wand that I have with me when I do when I go back to the groves and stuff. So, so I like that. That is really cool. I like the I love the feel of it. I love the little um, stars on the bottom, and I love the look. The look is really cool. And if you want to check out, I'll put a link down below of my website and my Instagram so you can check out the photos of all the items. But I'll also put a link down below of my website for the purpose that you can... Head over to my um, Celtic area when I get it, when I finally fully get it updated. Or you can go to my uh, um, publication page and download, if you want, download what my Book of Shadows looks like. Because it, it will be up there after I do the video. And what my, what the, my Druid Grove handbook, if you want to start your own Druid Grove. Or if you want to contact me and... If you live in my area, which is Washington State, if you want to live in this area and you don't have access to a Druid Grove and you want to be a member of a Druid Grove and you've been practicing Druidism for a while, um, the information's in the book there, and it's those those are two those are free to download. Those two books are free to download. So, sorry, tangent again. Okay, and then the second to the last is a powerful blend of bergamot and lavender incense. So it's ritual power up incense. Let's see what they smell like. Okay, that is, that's actually got a nice smell to it. I may actually use one of those today. Okay, I don't think you really need tabs on the boxes to close the lids. The old ways have been working pretty well. So, and then this month's, month, this month's scroll. Oh, and I was thinking, I forgot to email them. I was thinking, you know what, they what they could do if they want to, if Deb and Ella is listening or watching my video all the way to the end, if there is a way that you could take all, if you have, uh, if you have the capability, taking all these stickers and sell and seeing if you could sell and making them into like little sheets and selling them into sheets, because everybody, all the videos I watched, I like them. Everybody I know likes these stickers, these decals that you put on the scrolls. 
because we take them, if you notice, everybody, most everybody takes them off carefully so they can reuse them. So this month's scroll is self-impairment ritual. And there's the ritual. And there's the scroll. Which is cool. So that's this month's box. I'll go back and redo all, I'll do all the things. I'll show you everything again. So we got the scroll, we got incense, we got the candle cauldron, candle holder, the spell casting candle holder. We got the, the crate, or, ornate wooden slice ritual tile, the magic wand, um, the decorative ritual bowl. The lapel pin, the fluorinite stone, the skull, the, um, sorry, the altar blessing ritual spell, or ritual kit, the three candles, and the book of rituals, and the, um, this month's art print with the manifestation on the bottom. And... I will do. I will talk about what my favorite items are. I, it would have to be first the wand. Love the wand. The wand is cool. And yes, we have gotten wands in the past um, for different types of wands. Um, you, you can always have different wands for different purposes. So I mean, um, next second, it's a tie between the the bowl and the um, book. And I love how the book looks under the light. That is cool looking. So I'm not I'm torn between the book and the bowl as number two. So those are the three best items that I really like. I do like everything in the box. I will use everything in the box. So that's not a problem. So um so there is that. So there's Witch Casket for the month of January. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you want to check them out. Check me out. Go back and watch other previous videos of mine. And um, have a good week, and enjoy, and see you all at my next video.